tell people if you're romantically involved with somebody and then all of a sudden that somebody reveals a personality trait that you don't like, <gasps> you could just leave. <laughs> Good. When you are a woman with money, power, and respect, your romantic options do not expand. <laughs> they decline. <laughs> now I am told it's because men are threatened by women with money, power, and respect. I what you think is gonna happen to you, huh? You think your dick is gonna get acquired in a hostile takeover? I hope that someday she makes enough money that I don't have to work, even though I do love this job <laughs> at Netflix. We both do. I'm a teacher, so it's notoriously known for not making a lot of money. And it's so funny because a lot of my friends who are straight, they always be like, so bro, like, how does it work? Like, does you pay more? Does Greg pay more? Do y'all like put a Google sheet and decide like who, who treats who? I'm like, no. Split. My nephew is 25 years old and he is dating this architect. My goodness, she, she is so smart and interesting, successful and charismatic. And we all hope that he marries her one day. But he calls me up earlier this week and he was like, you know, Auntie Allie, I think I'm gonna break up with her. Yeah, because she's a boss at work. And so she thinks it's okay to come home and boss me around. Yes. <laughs> you yell I was at me like, about that. <laughs> oh. Well, that shit's gonna happen to you no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I think Ali Wong had some truth when she was saying that you're gonna get bossed around no matter what, so. I prefer that I'm direct, not bossy. Mm -hmm. My sister's also an executive and at another company and our husbands will say that we boss them around and I grew up with a, you know, Salvi mom who bosses my dad around. And I was like, maybe this is like a Latina thing. Yo no sé. It's less bossing and more guilt tripping, I would say. Is that accurate? I'm half Jewish, half Catholic. So there's like double guilt yeah. there. I can't control it. But then at some point you got to go. And then it's an emergency. It's always an emergency when a woman finally takes a shit. And that's why every women's public restroom looks like a post-apocalyptic zombie nightmare. I don't know if, ever, if I've ever been in a woman's bathroom, but I imagine it's something like a tropical rainforest. <laughs> like a paradise. Um, yeah, just sort of um, mm. beautiful scents and colors and, and misting for some reason. Um, <laughs> like we're produce. <laughs> yeah. I can't let go of my husband, you know? He's, he's very handsome, he's very sexy, he's very much my type. I have a very specific type. I like dudes who look as close to Keanu Reeves as possible. <laughs> yeah. Period. Most importantly, he gives me permission to be myself. I, like Ali, really love that you let me just be totally myself and you fully support my career, always have. You're really smart and funny and cute. Wow, again, good to have that on camera for the- <laughs> For the, for the dark days. <laughs> yeah. I love your ability to make every single person around you just so happy and just you just have like the best sense of humor. I love your smile. I love your patience because you're extremely patient, especially with me because I'm kind of crazy. It's a little. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie's just very patient with me. Uh, no, I'm not. I mean, you used to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> I love about you, and, and Ali touches upon this as well. You're such a nice person, proud of the man you are in this life, and I just love you so much. So. Thanks, Steph. Yeah. That's very nice. <laughs>